This is module five, lesson 19. In this lesson, we'll be solving word problems using addition and subtraction of fractions. So we're gonna go right to our problem set and use what we've learned so far to answer some word problems. We're going to be using the, as we always do, the RWD process. Remember, R is for read. So we're gonna read our question carefully, more than once if need be, to make sure we really understand it. Then we're gonna D, draw a model to represent the problem that we have. And we oftentimes use our tape diagrams for this. And then finally, we're gonna write, and we're gonna write both an equation to solve the problem, and then we're gonna write the answer in a complete sentence. Okay, so let's look at number one. Let's do this one together. It says, Sue ran nine tenths mile on Monday and seven tenths mile on Tuesday. How many miles did Sue run in the two days? So we have a measure for Monday, a measure for Tuesday, and it's two days. So we know that we're gonna have to add these two days together. So we're gonna draw our tape diagram to show how far she read in the two days. So on Monday, she ran nine tenths of a mile. And on Tuesday, she ran seven tenths of a mile. And our unknown is the total. So by looking at our tape diagram and thinking about our question, we see we need to add. So we're gonna add the two pieces, the Monday piece and the Tuesday piece. So we're writing our equation now to solve the problem. Nine plus seven is 16. So she read 16 tenths of a mile, but given that the numerator is greater than the denominator, we know we can write this as a mixed number. So 10 tenths is one plus six tenths. So one and six tenths. So we're also gonna write our answer in a complete sentence. Sue ran one and one sixth miles in two days. Okay, you pause the video and read number two and use the RWD process to solve number two. Okay, let's read the problem. Mr. Salazar cut his son's birthday cake into eight equal pieces. Mr. Salazar, Ms. Salazar, and the birthday boy each ate one piece. What fraction of the cake was left? So let's draw a tape diagram and divide it into eight equal sized pieces. So Mr. Salazar ate a piece, Mrs. Salazar ate a piece, and the birthday boy ate a piece. And we know this is one whole cake. So if we look at what was eaten, it was divided into eight equal sized pieces and three of them were eaten. So we wanna know what's left. So this tape diagram models our problem. And we can see since we have a total and one piece, and we need to find the second piece, we know we need to subtract. So we have one whole cake, three eighths were eaten, and we wanna know what's left. So we have mixed units here. We have one whole and we have three eighths. So we need to make sure the units are the same. So we're gonna rewrite one as eight eighths. And then we're gonna subtract the three eighths that were eaten. And eight minus three is five. So five eighths is left. So we're gonna write the answer in a complete sentence. Five eighths of the cake was left. Okay, pause the video and use the RWD method to solve three. Okay, Maria spent Seven, four sevenths of her money on a book and save the rest. 
What fraction of her money did Maria save? So let's draw a tape diagram. The whole represents all of her money. And she spent four sevenths of her money on a book and the rest she saved. And we want to know how much she saved. So again, we have a total in one piece and we want to know the other piece so we know we're going to subtract. So we have all of her money represented by one whole. She spent four sevenths of her on her book and we want to know what she has left. So again, we're going to rewrite one as seven sevenths. She spent four sevenths. Seven minus four is three. So she saved three sevenths. So let's write that as a complete sentence. Maria saved three sevenths of her money. Okay, moving on, let's try number four. <clears throat> right, in this one, our whole is, we have a whole pizza plus four, three, uh, four eighths. So all together, we have one and four eighths of the pizza. She gave seven eighths to Gary. And we want to know what she had left. So again, we have a whole and a part, and we want to know the other part, so we're going to subtract. So starting with one and four eighths of a pizza, she gave, she had seven eighths left, and so we want to know what she gave to Gary. We'll do G for Gary. <clears throat> so we have mixed units here. So in order to subtract, we need to change the one into eights. So that would be eight eights plus four eights. So we have a total of 12 eights of pizza to start with. She had seven eights left. So the piece she, had, she gave to Gary must be 12 eights minus seven eights, which would be five eights. So to answer in a complete sentence, she gave Gary five eights of a pizza. Okay, try number five. Okay, here our total is two whole pans of cornbread. So our total is two. He served one and a quarter. And we want to know what's left. So again, we see we have a subtraction problem. We started with a whole and we subtracted one part and we want to know what's left. So the easiest way to well, one of the ways to do this is to change everything into force so that all of our units are the same. So four force is one. So four force plus four force would be equivalent to two. So that would be eight force. And then one fourth is four fourths plus one fourth together would be five fourths. So if we subtract these, we have eight fourths minus five fourths would be three fourths. So three fourths of a pan was left. And again, you might have used a different strategy. You might have said if we started with two and we used one, we only really need to worry about the second pan. One fourth of it was used, the three fourths would be left. That logic is fine too, as long as um, you can support it with your RDW process. And finally, uh, try six. Okay, here we have 
our total number. We're looking for the total number of gallons of punch. So we're looking for a total. And we have the parts. So we have four eighths of lemonade, three eighths of a gallon of cranberry juice, and we have six eighths of a gallon of soda water. And we're adding these together to create a total. So again, one strategy would be to simply add the numerators. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus six is 13. And we can rewrite this as eight eighths plus five eighths. And eight eighths is equal to one. And one and five eighths. So Marcus, Marius made one and five eighths gallon of punch. And that ends lesson seven, uh, 19.